Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install your Microsoft Office because of this error code that is 31152030013. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to avoid installing Office from another drive. So if you're using another drive, then you can try to move all the installation files to the main Windows installation drive, that is C drive. So try to move the installation file to C drive especially to this location that is C Windows temp folder. So make sure that you uh, move all the uh, installation files to C drive Windows and then find the temp. And then from here you can try to install it. Try to install it from C drive and then check. Next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel go to network and internet go to network sharing center click on your internet and then go to properties over here and then select internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 once you select it now click on properties now over here select use the following dns server addresses select this one and for preferred dns server type in 888 8 and then type in 8844 8, and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on ok close this now close this now you can try to run the installer try to install it and then check if that does not work uncheck ipv6 now for this you can click on the internet and then go to properties and this time over here scroll down you will see internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 so if this is checked you can uncheck this box and then click on ok and then you can try to install office and then check once you are done installing the office if you want uh, you can put a check on internet protocols version 6 once you're done installing the office you can always put a check over here and then you can check now the next step still not working the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then you can click on it go to the advanced tab and then scroll down and make sure use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 all four are checked over here then hit apply click on ok and then try to install office also if you if you have any other network available you can try switching to different network so in my case i have two network available so you can try to switch to different network and then check you can even use mobile hotspot like use mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can go to your wi-fi icon and you will see your phone's network over here connect to your phone network and then you can check next step is to perform network reset now before you perform network reset make sure that you have the wi-fi password because after network reset when you try to connect to your internet it will be asking for your wi-fi password so make sure that you have the wi-fi password to perform network reset you can open windows settings go to network and internet and then go to advanced network settings and then over here you will see network reset option and then click on reset now and then are you sure you want to reset your network setting click on yes your computer may restart after this and then you have to connect to your wi-fi it will be asking for your password this time so make sure that you have the password and then you can after the restart system restart you can try to install now if office was pre previously installed on your computer then you can try repair and before repair save your office word so save your word file excel so save your work and then perform repair now if if office was not installed if there is no trace of office on your computer then you can skip this step but if there there was office installed and if you have office maybe the old version anything try to repair office now to repair office you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to uh, or you can open windows settings go to apps and then go to install apps and then find Microsoft Office in the list. Find Office. Once you find the Office, now click on these three dots and then click on Modify. 
click on yes to allow and then you will see the quick repair option so go for quick repair fixes most issues quickly without without the need of internet connection click on repair and once the repair is done you can check if that does not work you can even go for online repair fixes all issues but takes a little longer and requires an internet connection throughout you can select this option if you're having problems after a quick repair now in this online repair it will reinstall your office so just be prepared that it will reinstall your office and then once the repair is done you can check if that does not work then you can uninstall and reinstall office but before that save your office work and then make sure you have the required microsoft login details because once you uninstall it after uninstall it you need to reinstall make sure that you have the microsoft account which was used to activate office so you have that email and password or if you're using product key make sure that you have the product key to reinstall office use revo uninstaller to uninstall office so you can um, use this revo uninstaller uh, for this uh, if you don't have revo uninstaller install any computer in that case uh, you can in google search you can just look for revo uninstaller you can go to revo uninstaller website and you can get the free version uh, you will see the free downloads option so go go for free download the free trial Revo uninstaller download the free trial and once you download it you can run this exe file install it in my case it is already installed so open Revo uninstaller on your computer now once uh, Revo uninstaller is open you can select your office find your office in the list once you see your office make a right click and then click on uninstall and then click on yes continue now click on uninstall over here and let the uninstall complete now once done uninstalling now click close this and then select the advanced option over here select advanced and then click on scan now click on select all and then click on delete click on yes again select all and then click on delete click on yes and now restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can go to uh, a microsoft website and you can log into your account so uh, go to accounts.microsoft.com log in with the same account which has the office and then you will go to subscription tab and then you will see in your office and then you can click on install over there and then you can run this office file and you can start installing office and over here you can see it's installing office you should not receive any error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel